Hi you guys, good morning. I woke up really, really late, so unfortunately I'm not gonna be able to make it to the gym. I still have like 30 minutes to do a ab workout and I normally don't work out ab and that's probably why I don't have really strong abdominal muscles but I definitely want to incorporate that into my workout. Um, Kaita and I just woke up. She's right there, my little pumpkin pie. Kaya, Kaya, you want to say hi to the vlog? Yes, hi. She said hi. Yes, you did. Oh. Okay, well, um, I'm going to get my bed all nice and clean. I have my yoga mat. And we're gonna start doing a little stretching and stuff. So, um, you know, you have to do whatever you can with what you have. So, can you give me like, give me like five seconds? Thank you. So, I got this table at. Hey, Kaya. Okay, so I got this table at a Home Goods, and it's so cute. I bought that box to go underneath it, and. It is just so pretty. It kind of goes with um, our other little bookshelf we got going on over here. Okay, Kaya. You got my attention. You got it all. What do you want? You want me to play? Okay. Okay, so I'm going to play a little and then do my stretch. so good got a little sweat going on I was able to play with Kaya it's like as long as you are sweating you're getting that blood flow you are getting some sort of movement you are a winner so I'm feeling like a winner and I'm just gonna go get some breakfast and go to work so see you guys tomorrow morning Hi guys, good morning. I don't. Ah! <laughs> Kaya! You said so too cute. You sneaked a little kiss in there. Oh, I know you love me. I know, I know, I know. Okay, I love you too. So, good morning. Oh my gosh, do I have slobber all over me? Kaya. Okay, good morning, you guys. It is another beautiful day. Um, Last night we found out that our AC, basically something went wrong with our AC. So we have the fancy fan on at like eight o'clock in the morning. Um, Texas is very humid, 
so anyways on a better note I am going to be journaling I'm gonna start this morning with journaling just because I feel like I have a lot of gratitude in my heart and I just want to you know it's kind of like a way of writing to God expressing all my feelings just it's good I love journaling it's, I'm glad I'm back on it and then I'll start um, doing my reading and my reflecting hi Kaya do you want me to play with you oh you do huh? you always do So I am ready to go to work, um, but I just definitely wanted to go ahead and summarize what my reading was today. I got myself some eggs and chicken and avocado and I made this concoction and it's actually really good. It has um, this liquid iron because I'm trying to increase my iron since I really don't um, consume a lot of red meat. So it's iron, apple cider vinegar, with water and then a splash of coconut water. So it's actually really delicious. Uh, so last time um, we left off on Romans 4. It talked about how like basically everyone has fallen short from the grace of God. So as we go into chapter five and six, um, Paul explains how following the law doesn't necessarily make us right with God. So back in the olden days, they used to do animal sacrifices just as a forgiveness and a payment for what they had done. Um, so here Paul basically is pointing us to, to Jesus. So the animal sacrifices didn't necessarily take away the sin. It made you right with God, but it didn't like take away the sin. So therefore, as you read chapter six, basically Jesus loves us so much that he made the ultimate sacrifice to die for our sins so our sins could be forgiven and that we could be with him. And not only that, but it's he died to save us, to make us right with him, to have a relationship with us. He gave us the Holy Spirit, our helper. When we basically are born again and die to ourselves, it's Jesus and His Holy Spirit that live and reign in us. So we, in chapter six, it talks about that we're not slaves to our sin anymore, but we're slaves to God. Our sins used to own us, like whether it was addiction, bad habits, we, it was just, a second nature but now that doesn't have any no dominion over us but now God's Spirit the Holy Spirit is in us and therefore we have dominion over everything and we're able to resist the enemy just like Jesus did we're able to walk without sin like Jesus did and even though we fall short, the Holy Spirit brings us back up. So we have that Holy Spirit, our helper. I mean, I started this whole like challenge because I felt like I was distant from God. And when you're trying to do it on your own, you'll have a little bit of shame and guilt and that'll actually make and create a distance between you and God. Like forget the shame, forget where you're at, forget all of your sin, come to Christ wherever you're at pick up your cross and decide to follow him wherever you're at. And you'll pick back up where you're at. Like God doesn't make you start all over. He doesn't love you any less or any more. He loves you exactly how you are, but he loves you too much to leave you like that. So it's his Holy Spirit that is directing us and in such a beautiful way. Like the way that God talks to me, it's so gentle, so loving that he's like, Linda, I love you. Just continue, like I know you messed up. Just continue, read my word. And he talks to me, even if I'm not reading the word, he'll talk to me through someone else. So he speaks to us gently. And you know, the way that we love others, I mean, the way that I love, there's no comparison to the way that God loves me. And I'm trying to get to know that type of love. I'm trying to understand God's love and it's impossible. Our brains can't really wrap that. We can't really understand that, but we can ask God to give us that 
knowledge and wisdom to understand his ways. So anyways, I just wanted to share my reading with you guys today. I hope you guys like that recap. But yeah, I'm gonna get ready for work and I'm going to eat my breakfast. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.